What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hammerdance YouTube channel. Today we have a special video for you. I'm going to be talking about how to implement stream elements into your stream. I'm going to go over setting up your alerts, setting up your tipping screen, um, some cool things in there, maybe some loyalty points, even though Twitch has loyalty points. But if you're on another platform, we can use those loyalty points built in to stream elements. I mean, I've used Streamlabs for a couple years now. Um, and I recently switched to stream elements because I did some research and I compared the two and I, I came to the conclusion that stream elements just seemed more professional. Um, there was a lot more I could do on there and I really like their option at a merch store. So just a ton of cool stuff in there. They have the bot implemented in there. You can have a chat bot that moderates your chat while people are talking, um, set up custom commands in there, which is really nice. And just like their whole animated alerts and overlay system is really cool, especially if you don't have some custom designs. So we're going to do a quick dive into that. I'm going to show you guys how to set up stream elements on your stream. All right, guys, so let's dive into taking a look at stream elements. Pretty simple. You're going to sign in with whatever platform you're using here. I'm going to sign in with Twitch. Um, I'm going to become a streaming legend, apparently. So it looks like it opens you up right here to your dashboard, which is cool. You get to see your recent events, who's following your channel. Um, who's cheering, yada, yada, yada. Been getting a lot of support lately. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate it a lot more than you guys know. All right, so if we go on the left side here, this looks like our little table of elements here where we can select what we want to do. So if we go down to the activity feed, this is what we were just talking about. You can see who's following your channel, who's cheering, doing everything there. OBS Live, haven't dived into this yet. Maybe I will do a video on it, but I use regular OBS um, Studio. I do not use OBS Live. OBS Live is stream elements. Um, basically like their modded version of OBS. Um, haven't done anything really with that, um, so I'm not going to talk about that with you guys. Uh, SE Merch, so this is how you would set up your merch store. We'll do a quick tutorial right now in case you guys wanna make a shirt or something. So it's literally this simple. Upload your design, edit your items, launch your store. Oh, and my store is being created, it's that easy. I uploaded my logo, let's see what it makes for me. Holy crap. Ah, uh, your store is ready to be launched. Preview store. Cool. Wow, that's really tiny. Design. Oh, okay, so we can fix it all here. We can make it bigger. Um, align it. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Basically, you're just uploading. It's like getting something printed on like Uber Prints or something like that. You basically upload your logo, size it how you want, hit publish, and it like makes a store for you which is pretty cool. I'm gonna delete all these because I wanna make an actual um, actual designs um, when I do my store. So I'm going to delete all these items. Moving on, so we have our alerts and overlays section of stream elements. We come here, here's where it gets kind of cool because there are so many overlays and alerts that you guys can use that are free um, right here on stream elements. And how you would use them is very simple. So we're gonna go into, let's say, let's just, it all works basically the same. So we're going to show you how to set up some alerts for your stream, basically. Let's say we really, really like these alerts right here. Okay. Blue Metropolis animated alerts. Let's preview them. What do they look like? They look pretty cool. Okay. We want them on our stream. So we're going to hit create my overlay, a new overlay, and we're going to name it Hammer Dance YouTube Video Test. Boom, create my overlay. See theme and overlay. Hammerdance YouTube video test. Now we can go to the overlay editor. Comes right into our stream elements page. This is where we would edit like where we want them to show up and all that kind of stuff. If we want them to be follower alerts, subscriber alerts, tip alerts, you can edit each individual one, um, upload the sound for it, clear the sound, shows us exactly what it's gonna look like right there, change the text. We can have it say, instead of is now following, you could say is now, the best person in the world or whatever you want to say. Um, so you can edit each individual alert right there. All you do is hit save and here we go. Let's go back, get out of the editor. And so to put it in your OBS or, and so that it shows up on your stream when people follow or sub or donate or whatever, um, go, click the overlay editor again. You're gonna pop up on a side here. This is the overlay URL. You're gonna copy that. I'm gonna drag my OBS over here for you guys to see. Go down here. We're gonna create a new source in our scene and we're going to do a browser source and you're going to name it alerts i'm going to name it alerts test because i already have an alerts created you're going to hit okay 
right here in the URL section, you're going to paste that URL we just got from Stream Elements, and you're going to hit OK. Now you see this box right here that I'm moving around, that is where your alerts will pop up. So center it in your screen, you can test it, have you know people follow you, and you'll see where it'll pop up. But if you have it generally centered at the top, your alerts will come down from the top, and it will look very nice. Okay, so that's how you would do alerts for your stream. Same goes for overlays. They have tons of stuff on here that you guys can pick and choose from. And it's all, most of it's all free. And you could just, you could customize it, you could use it. It's very cool. This is another thing that kind of made me come towards Stream Elements over Streamlabs. I've been using Streamlabs for so long and it was hard for me to decide to leave. Um, but Stream Elements just has such a strong brand and I, I actually just love their stuff. So let's say it is. Christmas time and you find a Christmas overlay that you like, but you only want to use it for a few weeks. You save that as an overlay here and you can basically just with that one URL change your whole stream for the month of December. And then when it's done being December and you want to go back, you put the old URL back, boom, stream looks back to normal again. Um, so it's very cool and you can do that. And I, I just really like that. It's, it's definitely a good thing. Let's see. So tipping settings, here we go. Revenue. Here is basically where you would create your donation link. All right, so all you really have to do here is link your PayPal and then you can come down to tip panel setup. Copy this link right here. This right here will go on a Twitch panel. So this is my donation panel. You would paste that link right here. See how I have mine there? You can paste it right there with a little picture for your donate panel. And that's how that goes. Very simple guys, it's like super simple. Um, another thing here we can set up is loyalty points. Now, if you're streaming on Twitch, you know that there already are loyalty points. They just added them, I have hammer coins. Um, so I'm not gonna have this enabled. Um, but let's say I was streaming on YouTube or Mixer or somewhere where I wanted to have loyalty points and they weren't incorporated into the platform yet. You can set up your own loyalty point system here, name it whatever you want. Um, how many points should people get every time they for every minute they're watching, if they subscribe, the multiplier. You can basically set up an entire loyalty point system here um, for your viewers and they can use them to do things on your stream. No need for that if you're streaming on Twitch, um, but if you're on another platform, give it a shot. Can't hurt, right? You got a contest board here you can create contests. Um, people can bet using their points, all that kind of stuff. You can do giveaways with stream elements, which is nice. Um, so create a picture for it, set it to subscribers only. Basically anything you want to give away, you can use Stream Elements for, it's really cool. Moving on, we have the Stream Elements Bot. You can have the Stream Elements Bot moderate your stream. You could set exactly what it does here. Right now, um, what he's doing is, it's gonna be getting a noti notified in chat whenever an activity happens. You can set it so that people can play roulette or bingo or raffle, um, emote pyramids, basically tons of stuff you can have your bot do here to kind of interact with your chat and get people a little more you know, into your into your stream. There's more to do, you know what I mean? They're not just sitting there watching, they can actually be a part of the stream, which helps a lot. People love that. You can set up spam filters so you can filter out certain words or caps lock or links or whatever you wanna do. Make sure you set this up because right now I have no filters on, so I'm going to set this up after stream. I wanna have link protection. We're gonna put that on. Banned words I will do. So for me, links and banned words are, are some things that I will be filtering out. And you can you can you can edit the banned words and create like a new group of words, specific words if you really want to. Moving on to timers. Now timers are basically I can set up a command so that my bot says something at a specific time. So I'm gonna say like um, remember to follow. And it's gonna say, Hey guys, if you're enjoying hammers stream don't forget to hit that follow button boom all right so now every five minutes he's going to say that so basically what this means is every five minutes it's going to check if five chat lines have been said so if there's people in chat talking and they've said five lines of text and it's been five minutes my bot will say, hey guys, if you're enjoying Hammer Stream, don't forget to hit that follow button. That's really the basics of Stream Elements here. If I miss something, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it. Anyways guys, that's all from me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, a lot of you have been asking me, how do you set up um, alerts? How do you set up your donation page? How do I make a store to sell my logo on a shirt? Um, things like that. So I hope this video helped and we covered everything that you guys needed to know there. Please let me know down in the comments below though, if you guys wanna know anything else. It does help when you guys give me ideas to make some videos. So let me know what you guys want to learn and want to know. And I will make a video 
surrounding that topic. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop it a like. That lets me know that you guys liked it. Share it with all your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your post notifications so that you know the next time that I post a video. But all right, guys, that's all from me. So I want you to keep your hammers up in the air. I'll see you next time.